Oh, yeah, that's right. Madman Mandela coming at you live from the Garden of Garage here in beautiful Alabama. We're all nuts down on the ground instead of up in the tree. <laughs> yeah! So, guys, what's up? Okay. <sighs> Derek Forkman. If that is his real name. <laughs> it's missing the T. <laughs> it just needs a T, and it'll be good. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Derek came to me wanting a fat girl. So I was like, okay, I'll blind you with a fat girl. So he got a fat girl. Here it is. It's a Jasper. And yes, it was a friggin' big block. Son of a... There went, there went 23 minutes of... No, 26 minutes of my life. Reading and writing an ant. Not to mention Zell. Anyway, okay. Here she is. She's all done. All right, I got it on a wireless network for right now. I know that you got a wired adapter. I'm going to explain how to... Hook it up and all that. But um, she's all done, ready to go. RGH 1.2, cool runner Rev C in it. And uh, with a modified timing file. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to boot it right now. And with an insane amount of luck, it'll boot. And um, when it does, what's going in? There she goes. <laughs> Typical RGH 1.2. All right. And there you are. Okay. Now we're booting up in the FSD. We're going to get some notifications from the server letting us know it's online, live, and all that other happy nonsense, okay? And then what's going to happen is, is I'm going to give you a stroll through this thing, alright? Looks like Xbox Live is playing nicely. Hold on while I get my cat in. Hey guys. Yes. She takes a roll around in the dirt too. She is black. Now she's brown. Anyway, okay. Alright, as you can see, we're up on a live server. So we've got a notification from Purge letting us know that it's good. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to scroll through this thing, okay? So, under emulators, and I'm sorry if I'm going a little fast for this, but, you know, I've got more Xboxes to do. I've got a lot more Xboxes to do, so i got to get them done. All right? So, anyway, we have Genesis Plus 360, Snake 360, and main. 4,000 ROMs on there that will keep you busy for a long time. And then some, if you are into arcade games, okay? Then we have our Xbox Classic games, okay? There's a bunch on there for you. Let's put on. There you go. And then, of course, we have our homebrew section where all of our tools reside that we need to do what we need to do. And also, really, you screw up a console if you don't know what you're doing. Alright? Then, of course, we have Xbox Live Arcade. A myriad, mind-boggling amount of arcade games, including my favorite, Trailer Park King. I like Uno. And then there's Bejewel, too. We can bedazzle everything. Yes. Okay. And then, of course, we have our regular Xbox 360 games. Okay? We've got a load of them on there. Alright? Advanced Warfare, all that kind of good stuff. Yes. All the famous loved titles by everyone. Yes. So, there you go. Now... To get to the original dashboard, go to your homebrew section. At your homebrew section, go to Xbox 360 dashboard. Mash the A button. Mash it one more time. You will get a square. Just like that. Hello again, Derek Farfan. <laughs> Smelly little sucker, ain't he? Okay, uh, you're on Alliance Live. Welcome to Alliance Live. You're on dashboard 17559. You can only get 30 reserve days left. Got good. Okay? Now, hopefully, uh, I won't get the temporarily services. Uh, services are temporarily uh, disabled for right now. Let's see what happens, shall we? Well, Microsoft... Oh, look at that. They must have plugged the Ethernet cord back in. Goody. <laughs> nice job, Microsoft. Yeah. Multi-billion dollar company. Can't keep a freaking network straightened out. Jesus Christ. All right. Look, you're online. You're live. Our beautiful eyeball pleasing HUD over in our fifth tab, our ghost sheets, and Modern Warfare 3 sheets. Then you get back to FFT Dash. Just smash the A button next Xbox. Home. And that will take you back to FSD Dash. Now, another little ditty about this sucker. Frank, Patrick, James, what's up? <laughs> Good to see you guys. All right. Now, okay, we're back. We're back at FSD Dash. Okay? Life is great. Now, I'm going to show you what I call multi-dashboard. Okay? Look. I got this set up with numerous dashboards. Okay? So that way that you can pick one that you're comfortable with and you can roll with it. And it's very easy. All right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to uh, File Manager. Okay. There we are. And I'm going to start it this way. Okay. Because it's a lot quicker and easier. Okay. I'm going to go to HD1. I'm going to go to Aurora. And we will do Aurora. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and Aurora is going to pop up now. And then what's going to happen is it's going to load. And as you can see, there you are. And there's everything. Now look. With this. Now she wants out. Excuse me while I let her out. There you go, okay? I love pussy. <laughs> yeah. All right, now look. 
That didn't sound right. Forget I said that. Okay, look. Okay, here's the deal here, all right? With the, with Aurora, you hit RB, or you can hit LB. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, you, you know, I mean, you hit LB, it'll bring up this menu right here. Okay, or you hit RB, it'll bring it up again. All right, it's very easy. Use your D-pad to navigate, all right? As you can see, we have Xbox 360 games, okay? So, there's all your 360 games. All right, now we'll hit RB. We'll use D-pad right. We'll go to Xbox Live Arcade. There's all your arcade. We'll hit RB again. We'll use D-pad right. Go to emulators. There's your emulators right there. Hit RB again. We'll go to Xbox Classic Games. There's all your classic games right there. Hit RB again. You'll go to your homebrew section where, as I said, the tools reside to really screw stuff up. Listen, when you download your profile from Xbox Live, use this to unlock the titles and downloadable content. It's pretty much self-explanatory. Just unlock all. Otherwise, you're going to have problems updating all the stuff, the latest titles and everything else. So you've got to unlock it, okay, when it's under your profile, okay? So only do that after you download your profile and log in, all right? Now, okay, hit RB again. You're at Indie, okay, you have your voice changer, my favorite. That's a good one, too. Yes, okay? Kind of looks like me in the morning without my coffee. All right, now, we'll hit RB again, and we're back to show all. And that shows everything that's on the hard drive. Pretty easy, right? Okay? Now, if you want to change this to Aurora, or you want to change it to um, FX Menu, or XEX Menu, or the Stock Dashboard, okay? Whatever you want to do, okay? You can do it, okay? It's real easy. All you got to do is you go to your homebrew section, and we play with the infamous Dash Launch. That you can really screw a lot of stuff up with this, with this little program right here. Remember, it is an RGA, so all the safeties are off. All bets are off, so be careful with what you load. And please, don't get any cheap garbage menus from a couple years ago because the only thing you'll do is ban the damn TV. Alright? I got a really good server and it's really hard to get banned on it. Alright? But if you load a menu that has a KV stealer in it or something like that or some kind of menu that's advertised for free, well, guess what? Number one, it ain't gonna work because 17559 is an animal all to its own. That's the dashboard. Okay? Number two, you'll fry the damn KV. Plain and simple. So don't get, don't be cheap and get good menus. Thank you. All right, now, we're going to hit Dash Launch, okay? Gathering information, here we go, okay, now, what do we do? See Paths? Okay, we hit A. All right, you will see. Um, the default is Freestyle Dash. B is uh, FX Menu. X is X and X Menu. Y is Stock. What you do is when you're booting up the system, if you choose to, you can hit uh, LB, which is Aurora right there. You hit LB, all right? Hold it down while the while the logo comes up, right, and it will boot into you know Aurora. Okay, the same for you know the same for XX menu, same for FX menu. It's very simple. All right, if you want to change the default, okay, go to default, hit A. Okay, go to double dot uh, folder right here. Really simple. Okay, go to Aurora. Put in Aurora XX. As you can see, it now changed it. Okay, pretty easy. Then all you got to do is hit. RB, hit X, and you will see it pop up here. Setting save to AGD launch inning, which is, that's what you need to do, and then hit B. Now we'll launch into Aurora. It's very easy. Okay, like I said, if you can't do this, then you really, really need to not have one of these. Okay, all right? Now, all right, we'll go back to homebrew section to set it back. Go to dash launch. All right, once in dash launch, whoop. Go to paths. I think don't mess with anything else. Go to paths. All right. Hit A. Then default. Hit A. Go to uh, double dot folder. Root folder. And we'll take you back to the root folder. Go to freestyle. Go to default XEX. And there it is. Then all you got to do is hit RB. Highlight HDD and hit X. Setting safe. Okay. Your plugins, by the way, okay. Let, let me show you something here, okay. Just in case, just to show you, all right. Your plugins, right here, all right. First of all, two of them here live block and live strong. If those are enabled, you will not get, you will not get to the server, okay. And therefore, they have to be disabled, okay. That's only when you're on the server and you got a good KV and you know what's going on, all right. That's number one, okay. Now, look. Leave everything else alone. Don't mess with any of this stuff. Okay, unless you know what you're doing. Okay? Plugins. You will notice. 
XBDM, very important. Do not remove that from plug-in one. You will lose connectivity with Xbox, with Xbox Neighborhood. You will lose all kinds of crazy shit if you disable that. Do not disable XBDM. It is a needed plug-in. It must be in plug-in one. Plug-in two, that's where your server goes. Whether you choose my server, whether you choose Perks Live, whatever. Don't care. That's where you change the server. Okay? Plug-in three, JRPC2. That's, you use JRPC2 to add more menus and more plugins, and that way then you can load more plugins, you know, for, for extra menus and stuff like that. All right? Plug-in four, we have none. Plug-in five, we have Purge. Okay? That's the menu right there. Okay? Now, you can put any anything in plug-in four, whatever. You can use JRPC2, modify text file, and then put all your put all your menus in it, and then it'll load all your menus from JRPC2. Doesn't matter. Okay? But anyway... That's the thing about Dash Launch, all right? You know, I mean, so there it is. This is a totally tunable system. You put anything you want on it, it's an RGH. But just remember this. When you tell it to do something, it's going to damn well do it because all safeties are off and it will happily run off of a cliff, wagging its tail, looking at you with loving eyes as it crashes into the ground. So be careful with what you load, okay? And please, don't don't even go with Dashboard Update. If you see a Dashboard Update pop up, I'm not talking an avatar update, I'm talking a dashboard update. You actually see where, where we're going to like 17, 767 or whatever, okay? Alright, do not update this, this until the XE build comes out. Follow simple instructions. And I always post in Facebook and everything, hey, we got a dashboard update, do not update, wait for XE build. I always say that, please, for the love of God, do not update. Avatar, okay. System update, ah, uh-uh. okay? So, there you go. Alright, so anyway, we'll hit B, we'll get out of there. Alright, and you will see that we'll boot back up into FST Dash now. Okay? I'm off my soapbox. Yes. Alright? Now look. Alright. What's up, Eddie? Dylan? Caden? Caden, you can go on our website, www.customxboxes.com. I'll give you the link, and uh, we have them from 125 on up. Okay? Uh, hey, there we Patrick Mason, man. Love you, brother. Hope you're doing good. Nicholas Blick, did you see it? Yeah, I, yeah, I know. The yeah, Office works pretty good, James. That's for sure. Reflection of the TV. I'm sure you can, okay? Jay, are you stalking me? Huh? <laughs> Mazi Von Zyborg. Yes, the island legend. This man can, this man can, can do anything. Old Sharp, uh, old sharp Electronics Engineer. This guy is freaking nuts. He's a nutcase, okay? You gotta see his starting skills. You think mine are good? Ha! You gotta see his. Stephen McCann, how are you? Brian James, what's happening, man? Edward Rivera! Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, Edward, yes, they do update the 360. You wanna know why? You see, there's a fallacy that people think that the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One are on different networks. Um, I got news. No, they're not. That's why the server is still around. They learned from their mistake back in uh, 2010, April 15th or April 12th, I do believe, was when they shut off the original Xbox Live server, okay, to the original Xbox. And people got super pissed, okay, in fact, so pissed off that Microsoft is not going to make that mistake again. So what they did was they went with backwards compatibility with the Xbox One to, to play all the way back to the original Xbox games, which is really cool. But also what that did too was ensure that the 360 uh, server is going to be here, regardless. Because if somebody wants to play their old title, titles, guess what? They're going to be there all the way back. It's on the same server. It's on the same infrastructure. So guess what? It ain't going anywhere. So when Xbox One gets an update, more than likely, if it's a, it's a, if it's a big system update, the 360 is going to be updated too. And when that happens, that's when we just got to update the dashboard. Of course, I have videos on how to do it. I, I, I can remotely do it by because I have I keep everybody's name. I have everybody's name. Okay? So you don't have to worry about that crap. Alright? So you know it's like it's like telling me I need the update. Okay, well, in due time of course I will go ahead, I can update the name, ship it to you. You just you, you just plug it into a USB stick, flash your console with it, it's done, that's it. We give you the new dash launch, okay, we give you the new Alliance XCX because Yes, when, when the server gets updated, well, so does my Xbox Live server have to get updated, too. Alliance needs to be updated, along with other menus that have to be updated to the newer Dash, okay? Because that's how it works, okay? So, anyway, needless to say, just to let you know, yeah, 
they still update the Xbox 360, okay? We we just had an update. We had two of them, one from 17.544 to 17.559. Within like a month's time, they, they did two. And it was like, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, I was shocked. My dad was shocked. We were all shocked. We were like, whoa, where the hell did this come from? So anyway, all right. Now, to get this thing online for the first time, Derek, this is what you got to do. All right, I'm going to show you what you got to do. Whether it's a wired connection, wireless connection, whatever, it doesn't matter. All right, look. Power system down. Okay? What I want you to do when you first get this thing is I want you to remove this hard drive from the console. Okay? Yeah, put it right there. Then what I want you to do, I want you to boot the console. Okay? Plug in your HDMI, of course. Plug in your controller. Get it all ready. There she goes. She booted. I love RTH 1.2. God! <laughs> Ooh, it just... It, 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 it makes me moist. All right, now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, now. Okay. Yeah, hey, listen. Uh, James. <laughs> Everybody wants to be top fan. Okay, listen. Um, Edward, I set these up so that everybody, so that it's set up so that that way then, if you want something, it's already on there, okay? I mean, you know, that's that was the whole premise of doing all of this, okay? And it, it also made me lose a lot of hair overnight. Okay. So anyway, all right, we boot up. Okay, there we are. We got the Xbox Blackboard screen, okay? This is what you're going to do. You're going to go up top here. You're going to go to settings. You're going to go to system. You're going to go to network settings, okay? You will see your Wi-Fi access point pop up, or if you have it plugged in with an Ethernet plug, Okay, it's gonna you're gonna you're gonna have a check mark over here. Okay? It's going to test your Xbox Live connection. Alright, now I'm gonna do mine manually. Alright? And this is exactly what you should get. Okay? You should get a check mark and two red X's. There you go. Alright? Now this is the one we worry about right here, because that's your local area network, you see? Okay, this is very important. If you're connected to your router, you're good. If there's a red X there, you better check your router because it's not allowing the Xbox on your LAN. If you can't get to your LAN, you can't get to your WAN, therefore you can't get here, and there's no happy face. You understand what I'm saying? Give me the happy face. You know I want to see the happy face, okay? So, two red X's and a check mark, all right? Once that happens, okay, power system on. Take L hard drive. And gently and gingerly slide it in and clip it. Pretty simple. Then what I want you to do is I want you to pull the tampon string, which happens to be the power supply. And I want you to leave this sit for five minutes. Yes, I'm looking at you. Five minutes. You understand? I hope you do. Because if you don't, it's going to be bad. Do you understand me? Five minutes. That's it. After you leave this out for five minutes, then you plug it back in and power it back on. Now, I can plug it back in and power it back on right now because my DNS is correct. We're just going ahead and resetting the South Bridge and all that happy nonsense, okay? Now, plug it back in after five minutes, power the system back on, grab hold of said controller. <coughs> this thing will boot, excuse me, sorry. Once this happens, you will see that you will be connected to Alliance, and you will get your purging notification. Okay? Now, notice the green stopped. That's good. It locked the server. Fan speed picked up. That's good. We're running FSD. Okay? And then we're going to boot into FSD. There you are. And you're off on the purge! And you're going to be off on my server. There you go. Now, what I want you to do, immediately go to Homebrew. Then what I want you to do, I want you to go to the dashboard. Then what I want you to do is once you get to the dashboard, this is what you do. First, you get the square. That means that you're hooked and you're live. Okay, life is good. All right? And then what I want you to do, I want you to go download profile. If you have an Xbox Live profile, download it. If you don't, go to xboxlive.com, make one, and then download it. It will ask you for your credentials and everything else. Once that's entered, it's going to load up. It's going to log you in, and then you're going to come to this beautiful screen right here, letting you know that you're up online and on live. All right? Then... You hit the guide button, you go back to Xbox Home, then you go to your games, and guess what? Start playing!
Have fun. Okay? Now. Okay. Another little ditty about this. To play. Now, emulators you can play while it's on a server. Doesn't matter. Okay? Emulators are cool. No problems with that. The original Xbox games. Okay? You have got to play. Okay? From, uh... Bypass mode. Uh, let me show you what... Okay, look. Let me show you what bypass mode is, okay? This is a simple little mode, all right? What this is is this, all right? When you when you get the console and you want to play your original Xbox titles, power it on, hit eject, let the tray hang out until you reach the dashboard. Now, system booted. Here we go again. All right, booting up. Now we're going to get to FSD dash. You see the green stop moving in there? Then once we get the FSD dash, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead, we're going to take the drive tray, and guess what? We're going to suck it back in there. Just like right now. There it goes. Okay? Then, Xbox uh, Original Games. Okay? Come on, hurry up, will you please? Oh my God. Thank you. All right. Now, go to Xbox Classic Games. There you go. And play any one you want. White screen, Xbox logo, flashes, white screen again. Now it's loading again. And once the game is loaded, then it will start. Then once it starts, I will show you how to get out of it. I love the cam and exhaust on that car. God, I love that. Okay. Gives me a raging heart on it, okay? So anyway, now, let's say you're done with this game, you're tired of playing it, right? I've had enough. Hit the guide button, okay? Notice it doesn't crash. Go back to Xbox Home. And pretty much it will bring you back to FSD Dash. And then you can play another game. Okay? Pretty simple, right? Okay? So there you have it. Mr. Farfan. <laughs> I don't think that that's your real name. I think it's a pen name. <laughs> I'm kidding, bro. Anyway, listen. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to say, man, okay? What am I going to say? Hey, James Hascock, there he is. I haven't seen you in a while, man. Uh, Jonathan Alexander Dixon, why is my space so dirty? Um, let me explain something to you very simply, all right? I've got 33 orders backlogged, okay? If I, if I took the time to do my desk and clean it up like I've done several times before, let me explain what would happen. I would have a lot of angry customers, okay? Because as you can see... Yes, it's a mess. You want to know why? Because I actually work and I actually do a lot of consoles, more than you could ever imagine. That's the reason why it's so dirty. Unless you want to put on a maid uniform and come on over and clean it up for me, hey, you're more than welcome, okay? Just remember to bring the thigh highs, all right? Got me? Okay? Does that answer your question? I hope it does. <laughs> anyway, I love these guys. Why is my space so dirty? Because I work. Because I actually work. I'm not here twiddling my thumbs. Okay, I'm not here playing Xbox One and, and talking with my friends and drinking and all that. No, I'm actually working all the time, okay? In fact, the past couple of nights have been to 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. You think I've time to clean this mess, do you? Huh? What are you, nuts? Oh, my God. <laughs> so, I hope that that did answer your question. <laughs> God, I love it. Who cares about the space? Xbox work? Yep. Life is good. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so, Derek, listen. I want to thank you for your business. I greatly do appreciate it, okay? And um, we're going to be shipping this little puppy off. And guess what? It should be at your door on Monday. So thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Guys, like I said, I've got more Xbox to do than Carter's got liver pills. So I'm off. You all have a good one. Stay safe. Watch that COVID-19. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, dude, I got news. Um, You know what? Whose shop is this? It's mine, not yours. So what do you care? Okay? And you say you work? Yeah, well, so do I. But you know what? Like I said, when you're doing console after console, you don't have time to clean up. Okay? Get it through your head. See what I'm saying? Because you see, like I said, I have people waiting in line for these things. Not taking the time to clean up. And what difference does it make? Because, like I said, console works, does it not? Does it boot? Who cares? See what I'm saying? And as long as the inside of this mother looks as good as the outside of this mother, guess what? That's all my customers care about. So, there you have it. Hope I answered your question. You have a good one. <laughs> anyway, guys, listen, you all have a good one, guys. I'll holler at you later. Enjoy your evening. 
I got another one to do. Yes, it's going to be a late night and a weekend thrash. Because I have got so many to do. Not to mention, uh, yes, I have to do the dual in trippy console, which is going to be pretty cool. So I got my buddy uh, waiting on that one. He wanted it painted, so we're going to do that too. So anyway, you'll have a good one, guys, and I'll holler at you later, okay? Take care of yourselves.